shock and anger. That's how one mother feels tonight after she says her son's teacher cut his hair without permission. And now she wants answers from the district. CBS 2's Jermont Terry spoke to that mother and has the school district's response in a story you'll see only on two. This one, you just want to glue it and want to go ahead and pull it off. Glue won't reattach this long braid back to the head of seven-year-old Montel Gould. This is the braid that was cut out of my son's hair. This is how Montel usually wears his hair. It's not just hair. This is part of him. This is part of his body, part of his identity. Yet last week, while at Disney Magnet School, his mother picked him up to find some of his hair missing. One of the friends had uh, dared him to cut his hair. So there's a few strands missing. His mother raised concerns to the school about the lack of supervision. How are three children able to sit around and cut their hair unnoticed? But the very next day when Montel went back to school, something else happened to his hair. And they say it was done by a teacher. He came up to me and said, my teacher cut my braid. I told her no. For reasons unknown, Montel's teacher decided to cut his hair clipping the long braid which hangs over his face. I was very angry. And when his mom came here to the school, she says she was given no explanation from the principal or anyone here at the school, forcing her to follow police reports with Chicago police and an incident report with CPS. That says my voice doesn't matter. His voice doesn't matter. As the mother waits for a better understanding, CPS says we take any allegation of inappropriate employee conduct very seriously. School and district officials are working to support the affected student, adding the review of the incident is already underway. Yet Montel's mom says there's nothing a teacher could do or say to justify altering her son's appearance. She's out of out of line. In Uptown, Jermont Terry, CBS 2 News.